Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I thought I would do a bit of an update in terms of our ho home and house. That was a combination of the two. Now I saw Emily Philpott when she moved into the house that she bought with her boyfriend Brad a while back that after they moved in, she sort of did a bit of a Pinterest my home with me, ideas on renovations, what we're gonna do to our house, that kind of thing. And um, recently I asked on Instagram some video suggestions and a few of you actually said to do that kind of a video. So I thought it'd be quite a good opportunity to sit down, do a bit of a screen record and voiceover of my Pinterest board, images I've been saving, ideas that we've got for the house. But before I jump into that, if you were yet to see our empty house tour, so you can see how much of a project we've bought, then I will leave a little link to it in the description box for you to go and check it out so you can see a full before of our house. And then I do actually have a couple of updates on what we've done so far, which is very temporary kind of fixes, like in this room, for instance, just white walls on top of the wallpaper, new carpets, like just real cheap budget, the cheapest we could find that were just neutral so we could live kind of out of this room our front room and kitchen, that's pretty much what we've been doing. None of the rest of the house has been touched, basically. We have literally been living out of two rooms. I haven't even been up to the top floor, probably since we moved in. So we have so many ideas, we have all the plans finalized and drawn up now. It's just a case of waiting on a few more quotes from builders and getting them booked in. So we're gonna start by renovating all of the upstairs two floors. So I'm going to switch over to a screen recorder voiceover now of my Pinterest board, talk you through some of my ideas, but also feel free to please send me your suggestions in the comments below of what you might think may look good, might work well, in certain rooms. I love getting other people's opinions as well, especially if you're into interiors. Obviously, the majority of my style is just pretty simple, neutral, nothing too quirky and out there, but obviously we have a period property, so I definitely want to keep period features. So yeah, by all means, send over your suggestions. I hope you enjoy this little voiceover Pinterest my home with me video. And if you like it, do give it a thumbs up and let me know, and let's get to it. Okay, so I thought it'd be useful first of all just to show you the proposed plans so that you can kind of see what we're working with. I have previously shown this in a vlog, so if you've already seen this, um, then feel free to skip forward or if you just want a quick reminder. So we have our ground floor here, our basement here, proposed first floor plan, and then the loft conversion well it's not really a loft conversion it already is two bedrooms up there but we're going to make it into one big bedroom so let's start with the basement which has access from outside we have the main utility room here we're going to have this which is classed as a lounge area we're just going to have it as a storage system type room for you know bike cricket gear sports stuff uh, christmas decorations all the sort of suitcases and things that need a home this room will be dedicated to that and there's another additional little storage room there as well and then we're going to be making a bathroom down here along with a gym and then the ground floor you access the front door here and then we're going to be opening up all of the front of the house so that it's like a big driveway um, with a garage as well so all of this side is an extension all of this here so we're going to be having a garage um, you walk in the front door into the kind of like posh living area and dining area, um, which is, I, I'm so excited for this space. I feel like we're going to make this really, really nice. And then come through here, the hallway into the open plan living kitchen. The only thing changing here is this door into the toilet. We're going to try and have it from in here. So when you access the back of the house, you can go left into the dining room living area more often we'll probably go right into the big open plan living kitchen area and then hopefully the toilet will uh, be able to gain access from in here and then at the moment we have it set out whereby there's a pantry here kitchen with island this will be like a more casual living space with tv and everything and then we have the bifold doors here with a window box here that like kind of acts as a seat almost. However, we may be changing this to either have two or three 
doors instead of a window box, which I think will look nicer than bifolds in a window box, but we're not 100% set on that yet, but that's gonna be at a later stage that we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna start on the top two floors first, so we can decide that at a later date. And then with a nice big open like stone decking area down into the garden. And then the first floor, you come up the stairs here into what will be my filming room. And this bathroom here, we're just extending slightly to have a shower unit here and bath, sink and toilet, and then adding on an ensuite to this bedroom here. And then this is the master. Then you go up to the top floor, which currently is split about here into bedroom four and bedroom five. We're going to make it an open plan bedroom with vaulted ceilings, eaves storage, because the roof is slanted here. And we're also going to be adding an ensuite. So this will be sort of a primary place probably for guests. This one will be secondary with it having an ensuite as well. And then my filming room, I'm thinking about adding a sofa bed in so that if we do need the space, we can have a couple more people stay as well so you can see the elevations of what it will currently look like from the aerial view this will be the open sort of driveway and the ground floor and then this currently is like an outhouse shed which long-term plans we're going to probably use the concrete foundations for that and build an outdoor kitchen hosting area and then the garden space goes all the way back here so we've got plenty of space for um little barley to have a run around in and then this is what it will look like on the elevations from the front and then from the side which is currently existing the only difference here really that you can see is the window box or double doors here and the step down into the garden. And then on the rear, you can see this part here is the extension, the full length of the property with steps down into the garden. And then the other side, you can see here all of the extension here with the Velux windows. And yeah, that is our plans, our floor plans. So now you have a better understanding of our floor plans. This is my Pinterest, which I can see a thousand of you are already following, which is amazing. But if you did want to follow, I think it's just Freya Farrington that you can find me. And um, basically I have so many different boards saved. I'll go through one by one, but I just wanted to scroll down to the bottom so you can see, oh look, I've even created Barney one. Um, I've also created a couple of other boards like vision, fashion, um, food, travel, just for a bit of general inspo, Christmas, because I love Christmas. And then a more generic home decor board whereby I maybe just use this to like take inspiration from, but it's not specifically for a dedicated room. So I have lots of bathroom inspiration here, whether or not we're going to go for this kind of color palette in the bathrooms. I think we will because I love the black features and the sort of minimal beige kind of color. It's like, is it Stuckart, the texture? Um, and then yeah, just more generic, like, that would be a dream. I'm, I don't have a dedicated walk-in wardrobe, but that would be dreamy. Same with the kitchen space. We were actually thinking of going dark with the kitchen, but I loved that image, so I saved that and just a few others. I also actually love these kind of tiles for bathrooms. So anyway, if we go back to my main boards, we'll start with, we'll just go one by one. So storage um, is gonna be the basement storage room that I was telling you about for Christmas decorations and everything like that. So I just have some general kind of storage systems just for a bit of inspiration. I'd love to have all of these kind of boxes all labeled up with different things in, and then obviously like suitcases, racks, and just general shelving units for bits and bobs. And then for this staircase, I kind of took a bit of inspo from these two images, whereby you have the continuation of the spindles in the rest of the house, the other staircases, continuing on down into the basement so it flows really nicely and it's not kind of boxed off. Whether or not we do that or keep the door there, I don't know. And the secondary storage room, I thought, or even like along the staircase, it could be a really nice feature to have some kind of exposed wine display of some kind. Um, I just really love the look of that. Even though we're not big drinkers, I just think it would make a really cool feature. And then obviously if you are hosting, you've got plenty stockpiled. The next board I have is for the loft. So the one that we're converting from two bedrooms into one large bedroom with vaulted ceilings. What I mean by that is a little something like this. And if there are beams, which I'm assuming there will be, we might keep them exposed as well, just because I think that's a really nice feature to keep. And this room will actually be 
a combination of a spare bedroom with an ensuite but also some wardrobe space so it can kind of be used as Tom's walk-in wardrobe bedroom type thing and also his bathroom if he wanted to use that as his bathroom and also a desk area for his kind of office space so we could go a little more quirky up there and a bit different something a bit more um I don't know quirky as opposed to the rest of the house which will be fairly neutral with it being Tom's office space as well I'm thinking maybe even we could have some dark greens in there, some leathers, browns. I just think it could look really nice. And I love these black partition doors, which you'll see throughout the rest of the mood boards as well. For Eve's storage, I thought a system like this could be quite handy, whereby, again, we can house maybe not suitcases because we won't need to with the storage room downstairs, but, you know, spare bedding, linens, and things like for, you know, for Tom's wardrobe, his clothes and shoes and everything as well. Just really handy to have some kind of built-in storage when you have a um, slanted ceiling. And then moving on to the spare bedroom with the new additional ensuite on the middle level it's going to be quite narrow adding in a ensuite in there so something like this i took inspiration from with um the bed as well it'll be against the window so i think it'd be quite nice to do something like this with just small units um either side of the bed and then there'll be a it won't be as tight as this but this is just for an idea for what to do with a small space and what you actually can achieve with a narrow bedroom or I even thought of some kind of maybe corner bed I thought this was beautiful I love the kind of linen texture to it as well and it's not ideal but if you've got maybe a single guest um staying then that would be absolutely fine I don't love the idea of a bed being against the wall if there's a couple but it's definitely a possibility and then this as well I took inspo from as the door into the ensuite suite will be about there as well might even be a bit further back but that's kind of similar to what the layout will be with the bed being against the window so it's snug but um there's still plenty of space and with it just being a spare bedroom we probably won't use it all that often not that i'm preempting anything but i feel like that bedroom with it being right next to the master bedroom and with an ensuite it would make a really nice like nursery okay and then moving on to some hallway inspiration with us living in a victorian Victorian property I take inspiration from Victorian hallways with these original sort of tiling I think they can look really really cool or we might go with this kind of chevron pattern herringbone design on the floor running throughout as well I love that this image so much and then here is another one I love black accents black features I'm thinking of doing the spindles in the staircase maybe part black part white and yeah I just think this floor runs really nice throughout and we do still have a porch entryway so so maybe that could have the tiles in in the sort of Victorian characteristic period property feature. But again, I just want to keep these sort of old period property characteristics within this house just because I love the tall ceilings. We're definitely going to have panelling running throughout. Again, panelling is another thing that I was very keen to do as soon as I saw this house. I couldn't wait to get started on panelling. And then I thought maybe in the entryway or porchway we could have some kind of storage system like boot area type space where we can house coats and scarves and boots and everything like that or that could go down in the utility something like that as well next up the garden i just have a few images saved we definitely need to work on this but this is going to be a long-term project but something like this would be amazing to host people tom loves cooking as well so to have an outdoor space that he can use with maybe like a wood fire pizza oven and barbecue area just would be so amazing perfect for hosting also this is another image that we took inspiration from both of these with the steps down into the garden we would love maybe some kind of built-in fire pit as well again that would be amazing or maybe even at the other end of the garden probably won't get used that often but again in summer evenings with the fire lit I just think that would be so romantic and cozy and if you saw my Christmas vlogs we recently got a M spa hot tub so maybe we could reposition that over to around the fire pit area I just think it'd be so cozy and yeah I love the kind of concrete design to that one as well 
then one of the rooms I'm most excited to create is the utility down in the basement. I cannot wait to have a dedicated utility room. So this is probably the, the room that I'm most excited for. So I have quite a few images saved. This one stands out to me with it having a kind of shower space that you can either wash down boots or have as like a dog wash station as well with us now having a dog. We always knew that um, having some kind of built-in shower would be so handy down there. It would be a space with it having access from outside that you can literally go straight from a nice muddy long walk down into the utility, wash off, clean up. There's a shower down there for us as well. And then you can come up into the house already fresh and clean. I also just absolutely love the idea of having a space that you can have dedicated for washing. So you've not got washing hung out all around the house. So some kind of a sink unit down there and linen cupboard maybe, a washer dryer and everything is actually already set up down there. We don't use it. We just use the washing machine that we have in the kitchen currently. But eventually we will, be using the washer and dryer solely down in the basement. Okay, next up we have Jim. This is very extra, I realize. And to be honest with you, I don't know how much use a gym will get. So what I want to do, what I'm really keen to have it set up as is also an area with like this, a bit of mood lighting that I could go down there and do yoga, a bit of meditation, just relax down there and chill and um, just have it as a space to relax and unwind as well as a gym. And I think by having big mirrors like this, with it not having any natural light in there, it will open it up and just make it feel um, quite nice and light and bright when working out but with a bit of mood lighting for yoga. And then for bathrooms, I've just saved some generic images for all of them. So we all have the downstairs low, which I'm thinking something along the lines of this, with it just being quite small. It'll literally just have toilet sink. It'll be quite snug. It's as you come in the back door. And um, I love the striped wallpaper and the kind of linen textures to this with the tiling. So that's definitely an image I'm taking inspo for the downstairs low. And then the rest of the bathrooms I don't know whether to kind of do them all the same or do them different so obviously we have the shower room that will be in the basement along with the main bathroom upstairs and two additional en suites so I'm also torn between more period features like these kind of Victorian sinks and tiles along with the um, units like these units are like my absolute favorite again this is another kind of period style bathroom and then on the other side I'm torn between that kind of style and then the more modern beige black accents very simple and neutral which you know is very me anyway but I just am torn or do I do a mixture of the both do I have the main bathroom like this but then the rest of the bathroom's more period I definitely think the downstairs loo can have period features but for the upstairs bathrooms I'm torn. So let me know which sort of style you prefer, either the more modern or the more characteristic kind of period bathrooms. And then for the master bedroom, because we're not adding an ensuite, I mean, it's definitely something we can think about in the future, but with it just being the two of us, we definitely don't need it. And I wanted to create the bedroom as a space that I could maybe film in, but also just kind of chill out in. And I loved the idea of having a seating area because we've definitely got the space in our bedroom it's quite a big master so we can have we're definitely going to upgrade to a super king bed and we're going to maybe add some seating area that you can maybe just chill out read a book in I don't know I just really like it we also have a bay window so I thought of either doing some kind of seating area in the bay window or maybe have some kind of built-in vanity to use that space wisely but also you could use it as a bit of a desk you could use it for doing your makeup with it being in front of the window with storage underneath and then for my filming room which I'm classing as an office slash filming because I may have a desk set up in there that I can actually work from there but to be honest with you I probably end up just working from downstairs on the kitchen island or in the dining room um, but it is a space I want dedicated to just me my filming 
an area where I can take my Instagram pictures, film my YouTube videos, it's all set up and ready to go. So a nice big mirror to be able to create lots of light. I'm definitely gonna have it all white in this room, possibly paneling as well throughout this room, but definitely nice and white and bright in here. And like I said earlier, I'd love some kind of sofa bed. I loved this one. Um, but yeah, some kind of sofa bed so that if we were to have more people over that we needed space to host them, then that is kind of like a last resort room that we could have as an option to, to have people over. I'm loving these kind of glass um, lamps, definitely something that I'm keeping my eyes peeled for. And maybe even some kind of coffee table. So say this is the sofa bed, some kind of coffee table in here that I can, again, work from on the sofa, just chill out, put my feet up or even have as a bit of a filming space. Moving on to the front of the house, I actually only have one pin saved. It's Lydia Millen's front door when she had it black with the pampas grass wreath. This to me is just dreamy. I cannot wait to have a black front door. That's definitely something I have always kind of visualized. So moving into the kind of living, open plan living dining, we're gonna be opening it up so it kind of runs smoothly, but with partition doors like these big black and glass partition doors, I absolutely love them. The dining room will be very much set up as a hosting space, but probably more so used as a bit of a office, library type thing. So I'm really keen to get some kind of shelving system whereby I love these ones with the ladders, but whereby I can actually style up some shelves and, you know, put some books in, coffee table books and some vases and just pretty ornaments and then have the partition that you can close off or keep open into the what we like to call the posh living room by that i mean just like the cozy kind of snug living room that's not the open plan kitchen living area that we'll probably live out of most of the day this is more chill out unwind in the evening netflix i know i keep referring to lydia millen's home but the black walls is major inspo we're going to have a big fireplace as well tv couple of sofas with a coffee table. So it's actually gonna be very similar to this. And then we obviously have the bay window feature as well. Again, I love the paneling. And then this as well with the partition kind of inspo doors, couple of sofas, coffee table, fireplace, TV here. So very kind of classy, chic, sophisticated, but at the same time, very cozy with the fire. Potentially the room that we do maybe paint black and have more as a snug. And with the bay window, this will be the room which has the nice big Christmas tree. Looking out to the front of the house that people can see and I cannot wait. That is literally what I'm visualizing. Christmas in this front room with um, the big Christmas tree in the bay window. I cannot wait. So then for the kitchen, we're thinking dark units with light worktops. So I love this kitchen with the gas kind of hob as well we want and so i majorly take inspiration from this kitchen i actually have three images saved from it so the dark units the kind of marble top with flecks of kind of beige and warmer tones running through it i love as well with the antique kind of vases and decor running along the top this is a little more modern and minimal but again with dark units and the marble top is definitely something that we're taking inspo from and the door leading into our pantry which this to me looks like a door leading into a pantry but what we might do is kind of build it into the units and have this as a door that opens you walk in and it's actually a full pantry back here so definitely something that we like the idea of like a hidden pantry. I just think it would be a nice, cool, fun feature. We may also keep a fireplace in the kind of living side to the kitchen living area. So again, I think this inspo for like the dark units, light tops and a nice big fireplace in there with a nice kind of brushed gold mirror above it. I just absolutely love and cannot wait to get going with this renovation honestly looking at all these images makes me so excited and last but not least for the house plans we have the extension so this is just taking inspiration from the open plan living area and this is what i was talking about in terms of like a window box seat so this was the one alternative that we have penciled in and the other option is to have doors like this which i think we're leaning more towards again this one i love as well the three doors side by side if we can have three then i would absolutely love that if it's just the two that we can have then i still really like that look but i don't know whether we would go for that or the window box so let me know which you think looks better either the doors 
with the kind of decking, stone decking area down into the garden or the window box. We're definitely not having bifolds because we can't um, run the full length of the house. With us going the full side extension, we obviously need the corner of the property. So bifold doors wouldn't work across the whole way. It would have to be either a window box and a door or two or three doors like so. So let me know which you think looks better. So there are my ideas, my suggestions, my vision for the future. It's definitely very much of a vision board right now because obviously we have all the renovations to go and um, yeah, now hopefully you've got a real understanding of my style, what I like, and you can send over your suggestions too. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next one. Bye guys.